He broke his front right elbow completely off. Stay. I didn't pick him, he picked me. We went to Florida, my best friend, to pick up a dog. And when I got there, he came up to me and sat on my lap. We weren't home for very long before we realized that he was meant to be with me for my PTSD. I didn't used to sleep at night. He actually will either sleep on my bed or right next to my bed. He goes everywhere with me for my own personal security and comfort. I took him to another vet between 3,500 and 4,800 was gonna be the cost to get his elbow fixed. And the cost here was between 1,000 to 1,200. So it was easier for me to drive the 17 hour drive here to see if Dr. Jeff could see him for us. Hi, I'm Jeff. Tammy, nice to meet you. Nice Where are you folks coming up from? San Antonio. San Antonio. Oh, that's a drive. Is he using the leg fully right Absolutely. now? Absolutely. He moves it and he's playing on it. So he's not limping on it at all? He does after a lot of activity. He'll start to limp on okay. it. Okay. We just never know until I see actual x rays and things like that. You just don't know what you're getting into or how hard it is, but uh, we'll be good doing that today. So, what are you up from San Antonio? Because down in San Antonio was so expensive. I'm retired military, so yeah. I have one income. I hear so, that. Okay. Yeah. PTSD. Oh, so it's PTSD yeah. dog? Yes. All right, cool. <laughs> I'm a little broken too, so. <laughs> Aren't we all? Thank you very much. I'll get Thank someone you, up here and get him back. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Jeff. Hi, buddy. Now, he does really horrible in cages. Oh, he does. That's how we think he broke it, him trying to bust out. All right, he will not be in a kennel, okay? okay. All right, buddy, let's go. You guys have a good day. Thank you. <laughs> Nobody wants their animal to be in pain. I'm already emotional. I'll probably be around this area, probably in the waiting room most of the day. Come on, Samson. Don't be scared, come on. It'll be a challenge today. All right, so here's Samson's x-rays from the clinic. Let's pull them up here. Okay, there's no question there's a good piece of bone broken off in the elbow, and we have to go in and get that out. Samson's owner does have PTSD. There's no question she's really attached to this dog, so we're gonna do the best we can to make this elbow right for as long as we can. And this will be a tough surgery. Tammy waits as Dr. Jeff prepares for complicated surgery on Samson's broken elbow. It's a specialized surgery. This is only the second one of these I've ever done. Petra's gonna help me with this. Since the last time I did this was in Slovakia, I'll have a Slovakian help me. So you wanna review this? I do. It's the Ankenil. Petra is just really talented. I mean, she was number one in her class. She's driven to do surgery and she's really good at it. This is your humerus bone, so basically your bicep sits here. And this is the process that's cracked. It's called an ankyneal process. This is a, a condyle, so it's that bump on your elbow, one on both sides. This thing sits in between, so basically it acts as a lever. So that locks up inside here. It's classic in a shepherd for these to crack. So in any event, we're gonna go in and take this piece out right here, but it's not ideal. Always gonna have that motion in your elbow. And over time, that creates osteoarthritis. But you're gonna get arthritis faster with that piece floating in there. There's just no way to reattach that. It's a pretty small piece. So the, the standard procedure is to take them out. All right, this should be that little muscle. Definitely joint fluid there. Okay, there's the con mile. We're close. And I think I found the broken piece. And right below it is this really thick fibro connective tissue. It's amazing how fast they put down scar tissue. So I'm just gonna cut along the fracture line. There is a nerve on the other side. I don't wanna get to that. If I hold it like that, can you grab it or not? I mean, just dissect this back a little bit right here. That pyramid shape has separated, and so the fiber connect tissue is in between, and we gotta pull it out, and it doesn't wanna just pull out. Just dissect into the scar tissue. I mean, there's nerves back here you don't wanna mess with, so I can't cut too deep. You cut the nerve, and then the dog's leg's gone for sure. This is scary cutting this, so they can't see where I'm cutting. Ah. 
We haven't done this a lot, and we don't want to mess this dog's nerves up or anything down here. We're taking our time and dissecting slowly. All right. That's it. That's the piece. Can you grab it? Um. And it's coming. It's almost, oh, that's it. You got it. You got it, but I can't see it. It doesn't matter. Keep cutting. You know, the, the connect tissue around it. She's almost got it out. It's almost there. Oh, yep, 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 yep. There's no way I was getting my fingers in there. So I'm like, oh, that's it. You got it. You got it. Right, now let me just cut. Got it. Okay, that's it. So that's the piece. So at this point, all we got to do is close this sucker. Hopefully, it'll stay normal as long as possible. And it's going to be like me. It's going to walk with a limp when he gets older. Animals are definitely the comforting tool for a lot of people with PTSD and how it can help bring them out of their shell and give them incredible comfort that other humans just can't give them. He's real handsome. He's a good looking dog, yeah. Mm -hmm. That wasn't that hard, so I feel kind of guilty, so I think I'll, I'll reduce the price a little bit. Hello. Hi, Dr. Jeff. How are things going? Good. So. How's your knee? Oh, it's sore. <laughs> But it's getting stronger. Um, we got that out. I'd like to come overnight, basically, so keep them on injectable pain meds. I like two weeks for soft tissue to heal. So 10 days, you know, but you, he'll kind of dictate that. Thank you so much. We really no appreciate Thank it. Thank you. We appreciate Have it. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Why about you come back this afternoon? Possibly? Yeah, yeah, come back this afternoon, yeah. Before and we'll be up. Okay. okay. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Right, no problem. Have a great day. It's a huge sense of relief for us, knowing that he's out of surgery and he's mm -hmm. sedated, but, but he's doing good. So and I'll feel better when he's next to me again. Back. Yes. Did you get any rest today? No, not really. All right, I'm sure he'll be happy to see you. I'm going to go ahead and take you back, and then I'll okay. bring him up, okay? Okay. Tammy is back to check in on her emotional support dog, Samson. Come in here. Before he spends the night at the clinic. Samson. There should be some trumpets. Oh, oh there goes the booty. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah. All right, enjoy your visit. I came out probably tonight just to have my own peace of mind to make sure that he is really OK. You know, you would always want to make sure it's your pet. Nobody ever wants to see their pet in pain, you know, ever. So 